Hello everyone, welcome to another weekly market review. It's the 30th of November 2020. Great place in all markets to be paying attention. Some very interesting things happening and great opportunities. Let's have a look inside. Starting with the total market cap, last day of the month, so it is very significant. And what is most significant is how this day closes. It's really close, so you know we can't really say what will happen, whether price will hold these levels for a day or we close right below. But nonetheless, if, even if we do, unless we close significantly below, this is a very, very bullish candle. It's a great month and it could possibly even turn out to be the highest monthly close ever. You know, so that is so significant. This 2018 yearly open level is so, so significant. So uh, that's great news. Like for the macro for the long run, I think that's fantastic news. The weekly close, well, the weekly closed um, indecisive on very high volume, record volumes. So this is still something that needs the next week to close. Um, the next week's close to confirm what it means but you can see after a massive rally like this indecision could reflect potential weakness but we have to see we have to look at other other signs let's look at the daily very quickly so the daily has uh, we had a couple of very strong closes on to the downside and currently we're getting that retrace it's better seen on the two hour because this is the time frame where you can actually see the order block that made the big move down but essentially you know if you want to look at the block that actually broke market structure on the total market cap chart yes this is a significant level this three day level I hope it's synced to all charts. Just quickly show you the three day chart. So yeah, this three day level is very significant. You can see we had a bearish engulfing though it has a long wick, you know, and a bearish engulfing what it needs is confirmation also by the next candles. You know, a lot of times we do get a big down when the momentum is really high, price comes back up and then breaks down again. So that seems to be what the case is as of now. Sorry. So if you look at it on the two hour time frame, here you can see this is actually the block which is right next to the all time highs for the total market cap this is the block that broke market structure let me just mark it right here here's the up move so we have a couple of very significant resistances here um here is another one this is this is a two day uh, this is a two hour block and also it has confluence with the three day level also is the 786 of this big move down that we had so there is confluence over here but if you actually understand it in terms of market structure where the really really big resistance is it is still up here so it's pretty difficult i think it is pretty difficult i mean you can play low time frame moves here but what the plan that I highlighted yesterday as well in the discord for the total market cap chart was if you do get a reclaim of this level yes you can look to trade it up till here I would say because this is a, an, another very big resistance level but say you get a reclaim and a failure then it's a great place to manage risk you can manage risk um, once you do get that failure so that's a really nice level to manage risk uh, this 618 I mean I did 
mark out a plan that if we get a reclaim over here then you de-risk you know anticipating the move up to here if you get a failure then you can uh, trade it again so you can see we got the move up there was that potential to de-risk because if you know we we were short from down here from lower below so the de-risk happened here and now we have to see what price can do you can take a preemptive short with a very tight risk but what can happen here is that price can range here for a while so that is something that is a bit uh, dangerous if you want to be managing risk because you want levels to be lost also what happened today is as soon as the week has opened this is the weekly open as well you know so as soon as the week opened price just moved up so that's dangerous guys whenever that happens you have to be cautious without moving down if price is straight away moving up on an, in a new week on a monday um this pretty high probability that price does end up coming back down another thing on the weekly what i want to show you is that we did by a very small margin end up closing right above the 2018 yearly open that is possibly why we've straight away gotten a few algorithms that as soon as the week closed they just bought in you know so new week opened and there was just uh, instant buying that happened so it is possible that this is what the reason is but in terms of our game plan this is a good game plan price loses this you can do that if it's you can scalp it up to here again if price does the same thing reclaims and loses you can look for downside because i have uh, made a lot of arguments for potential downside so just keep a lookout for that or current market cap very very clean you can see what we did we built base broke out retested it and what we've done is we've hit the target of the base as much as um the depth of this base it has been hit it's on log so you know it looks a bit funny that this is more and this is less but we've hit the target of the base and um what we are doing now is this very significant monthly level we are finding resistance here you can see we have three three monthly levels in confluence over here it is pretty rare but whenever it happens it ends up being quite a significant level so what we're doing right now is testing it as resistance and what you want to actually see for prices to flip that into support i think that's the big level big big level on the altcoin market cap we had we tested it we had a very strong reaction from it so what you need for price to actually do is to flip that into support apart from that on the weekly what you can see is that this weekly block price closed above it and uh, we can see what happens once price ends up finding support and we lose this level i would expect some kind of downside acceleration on the three day this is something that's quite significant on the altcoin market cap which is different from the bitcoin and from the total market cap chart what you can see is we did not get a bearish engulfing we came down tested this these highs up here we've moved back up so this is different and uh, this is something that should be respected and something that should be looked at so we come down to the four hour currently you can see what we're doing sitting at the resistance uh, this, the level which was previously support and it flipped into resistance we can see it slightly clearer i think on the two hour so this move has been so quick that this is actually where the significant levels lie so yeah you can see this on the two hour you want to pull a fib here it's a bit more abstract i think altcoins it is a bit more dicey right now to be looking for downside because we have a different metric with altcoins which is shifting the dynamic which is alt btc ratio 
you know essentially if this was what the potential top for bitcoin was and we, we're going to end up getting this correction i mentioned it before that there are going to be spikes in altcoins because this correction essentially a lot of the market understands is a significant dip to buy for bitcoin for altcoins so we are going to get um, a lot of money flowing into altcoins over the next year and in anticipation of that you will see at all points of the market wherever market makers are able to find liquidity they're gonna try and grab it you know so this is dicey i would say to look for downside on altcoins has been more rewarding if you caught this move you, you know that it outperformed bitcoin because all ptc dropped pretty hard as well correlation though is not completely um linear so you know if you go by that then you have to trade individual pairs on altcoins as they um as they move even the old ptc charts they have to be traded individually when correlation is not clear for now this is a sr flip and what i would say is that if we flip this to the upside again short term you can trade it up to this level 214 this would be a great short term uh, trade a scalp and what i would say is your condition for looking for downside it should align with first reclaiming this level say we take the highs and then we lose this this is where you should be looking for downside if this level is reclaimed for now this is of course i mean it's a support resistance flip it's not very cleanly at a fib, fib level so you need more confluence you know there is of course this block on the two hour price is traded into that you know so, so this is not reflecting weakness over here yet in terms of what this is showing so this is what i would say for the altcoin market cap if you do still end up getting a spike you can trade it up to here once this level is reclaimed this would be a good level to take profits get a spike up if we get a swing failure then of course you can if you get a clean swing failure you could be taking a trade up here as well managing risk from wherever that spike goes to say you don't get a swing failure and you get you know just a s slow grind down or a quick move down then this is the level you'd be looking to be breaking further to the downside to be able to manage your risk from wherever this higher is okay so this this is the potential plan for the altcoin market cap where's bitcoin on the monthly so you can see no matter what happens this is going to be the highest monthly close ever i think it is very 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 low probability in a day we're going to go back to thirteen thousand. so i mean and congratulations already you are finally if you've been waiting for the last three years finally trading a trending market this is confirmed on a very high time frame on a monthly time frame you are making new monthly highs this is very significant not only is it going to uh, affect price it's going to affect the way price trades it is going to affect the strategies of the algorithms it's going to affect strategies of the big money you know so in a trending market i mean this is what we wait for guys we wait for markets to be trending so that we can ride the trend so so this is this is basically when we were anticipating that potentially 16 200 could be the top this is where i was drawing confluence i think i should remove this because considering the kind of trend 12k looks right now like a lower probability but nonetheless okay this is the three day chart let me put on the volume so very high very strong sell volume we got on the three day it's a bearish engulfing but again right now we don't have confirmation we've already had two days uh, a day a day and a few hours of trading of course it was the weekend so very low volume 
but what you have is a strong bearish engulfing look at previous stops for btc guys whenever we've had them we've ended up coming back to the three day level that's been broken look at the two previous stops so we had a couple of strong bearish closes then we came back this is the three day level came back to retest it complacency shoulder uh, you look at the february drop so you had a strong bearish candle decent volume then you had spike all the way back up till close to the three day close nobody was bearish over here all right so just just remember that you you got the strong candle it's bearish engulfing and you got the next three days of ranging within here price is coming back to test the three day highs and people are still looking for further upside you want to look for further upside you need this level to be reclaimed and then you can say that yes this bearish engulfing candle has been negated what is what is price doing right now if you look at it we're doing the same thing we're heading towards that three day level and sentiment is starting to get bullish so what do you think is going on right now you know what i would say is that okay so we have we have a couple of big levels over here let's just mark them out we have this three day level right here sorry yeah here's the three day level okay so we're coming back up to test it now let me pull the fib also lines up very well with the 786 what else do we have up here you can see strong support resistance level on the 4 hour on the daily what else we have is this this daily candle which led to the highs you know this is a breaker so we have this daily breaker right here i had this all drawn out but i'm just drawing it for you, for you guys for this time so that you can understand the the thought process and you can understand what levels are sig significant to me I think we can for now move this so they say never move your channels if you do see price come back down I will reactivate them later but you know you can see this very significant channel over here on BTC so there is a probability if we get that correction the top of this channel is I'll, in fact I'll just leave this channel you know so we had that bearish breaker what else we have is this to a uh, resistance here as well so that's quite a few levels that's okay can leave this so that is quite a few resistance levels right up here on um BTC we have the 786 which is in confluence with this and in terms of what our game plan was initially i was planning for a uh, slightly a uh, shallower retrace considering how strong this reaction was but of course the thing is that we have a very very high momentum on high time frames weekly momentum is absolutely through the roof even 3 day if you look at the oscillation of the momentum very quickly i will show you in case all right so on the 3 day you can see the oscillation of the relative strength you know we we've just hit 77 so this is still a very very high level 
you know and when momentum is so strong you can expect very deep retraces you know this is something this is a mistake that i made that for me to be able to get in early and not anticipate the potential first of all the potential momentum what it could do what else we've had is this rise has been on much lower volume and it's been on declining volume we have a lot of signs of how and why potentially btc can go down you should just follow my twitter if you're following my twitter you can see it we have negative delta you know all the way since the 18th of november which means more market selling than market buying then we have very low volume rise after a sh sharp drop on high volume then i showed you what happened with the 3 day uh, three day charts previously when bitcoin has had strong uh, moves down we ended up making retraces to the three day levels previously as well and also we have um, a lot of on chain metrics that are pointing to the same thing wherein we are no longer getting any stable coin deposits we are no longer getting any outflow of bitcoin from exchanges that means the big money is not finding this area to be valuable to be buying it and storing it we're getting a lot of inflow of bitcoin to exchanges which means people are selling they they're looking for this bounce as an opportunity to sell so there is a lot of confluence guys which points to this move potentially being the first leg of a correction so this is something that you should keep in mind i would say that you know price can like i said we be testing the daily level maybe you know come all the way up to this two day block and then make that failure so again over here if you don't want to be guessing see for me my game plan was i got a short here took profit here i added slightly here took slight profits added more over here but i reduced once we broke up from here i reduced size because i was then i was anticipating that we can potentially come back come up to these levels so currently what i have done is added again and here is my point of negation up here once we do find support up here this is the point of negation for me all right but like i showed you on the altcoin market cap chart as well um there is potential for some alts at least to take out the highs ethereum does that a lot look at if you look at the previous crashes for ethereum a lot of times breaks down has a heavy breakdown comes back takes uh, comes for another stop run before breaking or takes slightly longer before breaking down so if you want to be safe on this again like the game plan on the total market cap chart should look for this level to be lost and then take the trade to the downside you know so you can you can look for this level to break and you can manage risk from wherever we put in the highs so that's a good good way to take this to to take this trade and uh, yeah i think for upside you need to start finding good buying good market buying you need to start seeing these stable coin deposits coming back in and you need to st start seeing all of these metrics that are pointing to that potential downside move to start resolving wherein if we come down we start finding support buy pressure starts to increase then we can start looking at the shape to form where we we can look for upside but for now this is just another retest it's going to be a great opportunity to look for for the downside because we have a lot of other signs that are currently projecting the potential for a further correction in terms of where price can drop to so you can see how big this move has been this is 100% move guys so if we pull out a fib and look at our levels first of all what i had um, projected before this 30% rule it's a bit dicey first of all because i think it's very common um it's very common knowledge 
you know everybody looks for that 30 percent nonetheless this is what i had projected um while we were testing all time highs um this 19500 level that there is potential to do that very interestingly it lines up with this yearly open this is going to be um pretty complex and tough to call guys because each time bitcoin has been moving into all time highs there's been a very different climate even the last time that bitcoin was testing all time highs there wasn't absolute and complete certainty of its viability you know so what happens psychologically now is that we have that we have certainty of its viability because it is currently proving itself to the market as we speak you know it is it is proving itself to big money to smart investors it's proving itself to uh, a whole a whole lot of people you know so that shifts the dynamic at least psychologically last time bitcoin's testing all time high traders were still uncertain you know is this the end of the cycle is this thing going to last is it not going to last now it has been 10 years for this asset it's been more than 10 years uh, for it you know so people are understanding that yes this is viable and yes we have broken a long term trend all of these things matter all of these things matter into the dynamics of price they end up translating onto price and you you will get all kinds of funny things happen with price because of that because okay there is we are talking about big money right i would say all the big money is not smart money you know there is a lot of dumb big money as well so there there is possibilities you would get people who are forming into price uh, into bitcoin right now you know right at resistance after a big sell off you you could have uh, eventually some dumb money forming in right now as well i would say you really want this confirmed as upside wait for this reclaim and wait for the price dynamics to get get better and then look for that potential uh, move further because this will structure out you know after this kind of a move it will structure out and if it's too bullish it is possible that you know you just get a bit of a range take out the lows and do something like that but if it's bearish we could just you know draw up and you know maybe move about get a very slow bleed you know just bleed out all the participants and then move up this is the kind of scenario that i would prefer personally because it uh, essentially the sentiment is going to be completely bullish now how different it is from this move here this this move as soon as it dropped i was buying here you know now i was shilling and i was telling everybody this is the last call i was telling you this is possibly last time we could see four digit btc so what was so different over here was there was uncertainty over here you know so this was a very quick drop a lot of fear of oh, the end of the world you know bitcoin's going to die again and that was perfect for this kind of sentiment you know there's of course there's a lot of other confluence about why i was buying here but yes the sentiment was key but over here this is very different you know so we can have a very different kind of drop over here because now it's all four more time now is the time to be looking for 100k btc so price for price to hurt the most amount of people it has to do something uh, very interesting because see the thing has been a uh, market is bull people become very rational i mean you do end up having to pay for it even in a bull market you know it is more forgiving of course because if you say you buy spot over here you possibly just have to wait for a month or two before price, you you will be in the green again you know so that's how it's more forgiving but in terms of psychology you know this is something you have to understand like people will be bullish maybe they got a bit scared here but i, I guess people must have started forming over here up here 1700 high 1700 they're like yes you know we're going back to all time highs so all of these people i would say are in extreme danger and that's why i think if a drop it could be a very sharp drop this next drop that comes again because to wipe out all these people you know who have bought in late not these guys this is this was a good place to buy you know we we were buying here too that's different i sold some here i bought a few 
other odds which did well they have a different structure but yeah this is this was smart place to buy there's a lot of confluence down here but people who bought here i think they are in big danger and that's something that you need to understand and that's something you need to uh, think about you know and what we've had is a monday open straight up so we have also confluence of uh, poor poor lows over here we have poor lows basically very flat lows which means and we have a point of control a poc on a daily time frame which is open untested there is a lot of things pointing to this potential you know of downside there is i think a bit too much confluence also the sentiment is now aligning you know because people are like yes it's it is it's done it it's going to be a v bottom recovery and we're going to go straight to 30k from here so everything is aligning for this potential and this is the kind of scenario I like again why because say people are trapped over here you know same thing can happen to people who are trapped over here you know because people will not buy the dip once it starts moving up they'll buy it again and btc gets them again you know then people buy over here again btc gets them again then when it goes people are going to be scared this is when people are going to be scared to buy you know is it is going to do that again is it going to do that again and essentially it could just do that a couple of times before just just ripping in your face and you know then you're scared to buy because after a 100% move this is a 100% move right this is a big sell off and this is some place where nobody scared to buy because everyone was so used to it you you got late over here to buy you bought somewhere here you still made you still made a lot of money you bought somewhere here you still made a lot of money of course these people if they did not have stops they have uh, lost their money if, especially if they were on leverage you do know there was more than 1 and 1/2 billion liquidations in this drop so that was essentially all the people here aiming for all time highs so just just think about the psychology you know i've extended the review today and it's just to explain thought processes what i'm thinking why i'm thinking the way i am and what is this process of thinking about the market how the market wants to corner people and uh, the main idea be- behind sentiment and psychology and why we look for price to why we anticipate for price to move in certain ways uh, by understanding you know what the market is thinking so it's very very essential guys i think twitter itself crypto twitter and these different channels you have where there are communities these are great tools to be understanding how people are thinking you know how your average person is thinking because you need to uh be smarter than them you know this is this is the time you take their money from them looking at the here we looking at the small caps and uh, this is what i've been talking about over the last 2 to 3 weeks to be looking at small caps be in small caps I mean absolutely outperforming and decimating and november is on pace to be the best month ever for small cap unless we get a huge huge drop today this would be the best month ever for small caps in its history since 1978 we have data 20.5% the previous best month is 16.4% this is so significant you know but uh, there's other things that i will show you that uh, reflect that there is potential and there is something to be uh, cautious about in the small cap index couple of things about how stretched this move on the small cap index is we basically 20% above the uh, 50 week moving average this is the 50 week moving average you know this is the price percent oscillator you can see the last couple of times we got this It led to uh, multi month consolidations in the russell index another thing is that we have taken this to a three standard deviation move you know this is on the 50 month bands and basically this is there's only two two times in its history that uh, russell has done that and both the times we did end up getting multi month corrections basically and that's not to say that this is, is exactly where we get that multi month correction but this rally is huge it is massive it is slightly stretched there's something to be cautious about 
my market dynamics are very very interesting and what i wanted to show you is a couple of multi year uh, base breakouts you know one is copper i hope you guys were listening because we have done it we have broken we had a weekly close above this base copper is up 6% today it's a great trade to take um, i think it has lot of potential upside bigger the base and bigger the move should definitely be in copper do not miss this trade this is since essentially basing since april 2013 we are at the end of april 2020 so this is close uh, i mean we at the end of 2020 so this seven year plus base that copper is breaking out of it's very very significant that's why just at the starting of the week uh, just this morning we just had big buyings the algos are just um, going for it you know so multi year base eem emerging markets is china a lot of china is what's pushing this and uh, this is again a multi year base that we are breaking out of uh, some more multi year bases here this is a multi year base another one you can see you know just in terms of market dynamics how interesting it is you know that we are having so many multi year bases being taken out so what what do we have here sphv splv high beta uh, upon low volatility so sphv splv both of these are etfs you can look them up on etf.com if you want to look at their components high beta just means you know very high volatility stocks and low low volatility you already know what that means so this is again a multi year base since 2011 so nine year base you know that we are now breaking up out of this monthly close is right around the corner and we're going to close essentially possibly above this so and basically you know a lot of the high beta stocks higher stocks right now that were lagging in the rally you know because they they missed out the the initial stages of this rally and they've been catching up so you can see this is the month that all of those kind of stocks have been catching up it's possible there's a lot of low cap components also in this which is leading to this breakout because high beta stocks a lot of them would be low caps as well so you know it is basically a lot of the junk which has not pumped in since forever is pumping right now in the stock markets so you know if you like to go junk fishing you know you you like micro cap shit coins then this is the kind of environment which is excellent you know because this is a multi year breakout you are yeah, we could get some kind of correction or retest of this base but if this starts trending there's some really nice money to be made even in traditional markets another significant commodity over the last month has been oil when I mean, essentially is this uh, same narrative lockdown open but i mean oil has been trending currently now we are at the prices that we have been over the last 5 years considering what's happening to the dollar yes commodities could get repriced and this is something that we have to keep in mind but outside of that what we've done is we've broken major resistance this quarterly level i did it very nicely this is the monthly level that we were looking at i told you that there's two places where oil could find that support one was either this monthly level or other if we got uh, deeper it was the top of this range this range is the 1980s uh, 90s range you know so what we did is we found support at the monthly level pretty bullish broke above we closed the week higher now what could happen is the market since it is potential it it is possible that we could go a bit risk off we can be looking at 0.5 retrace over here on on oil you know so somewhere close to 40 dollars i think you should be setting alerts at this level you know and watching what happens because this could be a nice long opportunity for oil 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and share it with someone else. And if you have any questions about what we covered today, please leave them in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you or answer them in my next video. For more trading content and education, go ahead and click on the video on your right. Thanks for watching guys and cheers.